the band is about to be in front of millions of people on, uh, on VH1. I'm ready for the mix to be done <laughs> so that we can move on to the next step, which is get into the music video. I mean, we're really on a countdown right now. It's just killing me. You're just rehearsing with a, uh, a home studio, but in Skip's place where you have over 300 watts per speaker blaring at you at full volume, you can really feel the air coming right by uh, you know, your body, and I, I could totally feel it as I was playing. A couple of things that I'm questioning about are uh, like creative differences, you know, because like the band has one view, I have one view. I'm kind of a shredder, I'm not feeling that. This is, like, this is definitely not a shredding kind of band. And I like I like that kind of stuff, but I felt pretty good about the solo. But we'll see what the you know the band thinks, and um, and also just like different commitments because I've got another film that's coming out that's opening the same day as the the VH1 show. So um, yeah, just trying to figure out all the different different variables that could pull us apart. And um, I think creative difference would probably be like one of the main ones. Um, but I really dig the way the tune's coming together, and um, yeah, we'll just see if there's still a place for me. So. X threw me a curveball today um, with with the rap portion in the song, but man, I have to admit I, I dig it. I really do dig it. Uh, I'd like to see both versions, and uh, but I was pleasantly surprised. So I actually think that X is going to finish up in probably the next ten minutes because he's already gotten one really great take that he just laid down probably about three minutes ago. The song's only two minutes and 50 seconds anyway. So you figure in 10 minutes, if he can't lay down three more good takes, then we got some problems here. <laughs>